Hello. Welcome to the online lesson on the Geography of Turkey 1, Physical Geography of Turkey course. In today's session, we will delve into soil availability and land use characteristics of Turkey. Land use refers to the various ways in which land is utilized or developed by human activities. It encompasses the different purposes for which land is allocated and managed, including residential areas, commercial zones, industrial sites, agricultural fields, recreational spaces, and natural reserves. Land use planning involves the systematic allocation of land for specific purposes, taking into consideration factors such as environmental sustainability, economic development, and social needs. Land use is a critical aspect of urban and regional planning, and it plays a key role in shaping the physical and social characteristics of a given area. Effective land use planning aims to optimize the allocation of land resources, promote sustainable development, and balance the competing demands for different land uses. It involves decisions about zoning, infrastructure development, conservation of natural areas, and the overall spatial organization of a region. Land use can be categorized into various types, including 1. Residential, areas designated for housing and related activities. 2. Commercial, zones for businesses, retail, and services. 3. Industrial, areas for manufacturing, processing, and industrial activities. 4. Agricultural, land used for farming and cultivation. 5. Recreational, spaces for parks, sports facilities, and leisure activities. 6. Conservation, protected areas for preserving natural ecosystems and biodiversity. The way land is used can have significant implications for the environment, economy, and quality of life in a given region. Sustainable land use practices aim to balance human needs with environmental conservation to ensure long-term well-being and resilience. Land use in Turkey is diverse and reflects the country's varied geography, economic activities, and cultural heritage. The different regions of Turkey have distinct patterns of land use, encompassing urban areas, agricultural lands, forests, and natural reserves. Here are some key aspects of land use in Turkey. 1. Urban areas. Turkey has numerous cities and urban centers with varying degrees of development. Major cities like Istanbul, Ankara, and Izmir are characterized by a mix of residential, commercial, and industrial land uses. Urban expansion and infrastructure development are prominent features in these areas. 2. Agricultural land. Agriculture has been a significant part of Turkey's economy for centuries. The country has fertile plains and valleys that support the cultivation of various crops. Major agricultural products include wheat, barley, cotton, fruits, and vegetables. Different regions specialize in specific types of agriculture based on climate and soil conditions. 3. Forests and natural reserves. Turkey has diverse ecosystems, including extensive forested areas. Forests play a crucial role in maintaining biodiversity, preventing soil erosion, and supporting sustainable wood production. Some regions are designated as natural reserves to protect unique ecosystems and wildlife. 4. Coastal areas. Turkey has a long coastline along the Mediterranean, Aegean, and Black Seas. Coastal areas are often used for tourism, with resorts, beaches, and recreational facilities. Fishing is also an important activity in coastal regions. 5. Industrial zones. Industrial and manufacturing activities are concentrated in specific zones to support economic development. These areas are characterized by factories, warehouses, and infrastructure for production. 6. Transportation infrastructure. Land is used for transportation infrastructure, including roads, highways, railways, and airports. The strategic location of Turkey has made it a key transit hub connecting Europe and Asia. 7. Cultural and historical sites. Turkey is rich in cultural and historical heritage, with many archaeological sites, ancient cities, and monuments. Land is used to preserve and showcase these cultural assets. 8. Tourism. Tourism is a vital sector in Turkey, and land is used for hotels, resorts, and recreational facilities to cater to both domestic and international tourists. Land use policies in Turkey aim to balance economic development with environmental sustainability. However, challenges such as urbanization, deforestation, and land degradation require careful planning and management to ensure the responsible use of land resources. Land serves as a crucial resource in various sectors of the economy, playing a vital role in both industrial processes and agricultural activities. Here are some key aspects of how land is utilized. 1. Industrial activities. Ceramic, tile, and brick production. Land is used as a source of raw material for industries involved in the production of ceramics, 
tiles, bricks, and other building materials. Clay, which is often found in the soil, is a primary component in these manufacturing processes. Cement production, the extraction of minerals, such as limestone and clay, from the land is essential for cement production. Land is utilized for quarrying and mining activities that provide the necessary raw materials for the cement industry. 2. Agriculture Cultivation Agricultural land is used for the cultivation of crops, including cereals, fruits, vegetables, and other food products. Different regions may specialize in specific types of agriculture based on climate and soil conditions. Livestock farming Land is utilized for animal husbandry and livestock farming, providing grazing areas and facilities for raising cattle, sheep, goats, and other livestock. Plant breeding Agricultural land is dedicated to plant breeding activities aimed at developing improved crop varieties with desirable traits such as higher yield, resistance to pests, and adaptation to specific environmental conditions. 3. Forestry Timber production. Forested land is a source of timber and wood products. Sustainable forestry practices are employed to ensure the responsible harvesting of trees for timber without compromising the long-term health of forest ecosystems. 4. Environmental conservation. Protected areas. Some land is designated as protected areas, nature reserves, or national parks to conserve biodiversity, protect ecosystems, and provide habitats for wildlife. These areas contribute to environmental conservation and support ecotourism. 5. Urbanization. Residential, commercial, and industrial development. Land is used for urban development, including the construction of residential, commercial, and industrial areas. Urban planning involves allocating land for various purposes to meet the needs of growing populations. 6. Infrastructure Development Transportation and Communication Land is utilized for the construction of transportation infrastructure, including roads, highways, railways, airports, and communication networks. These developments contribute to connectivity and economic growth. Land use practices should consider sustainability and environmental impact to ensure responsible resource management and the preservation of ecosystems for future generations. The use of soil in agriculture in Turkey is a fundamental aspect of the country's economy and food production. Here are key points regarding the use of soil in agriculture. 1. Cultivation of crops. Diverse crop types. Agricultural land in Turkey is utilized for the cultivation of a wide range of crops, including cereals, such as wheat and barley, fruits, such as apples, cherries, and citrus fruits, vegetables, legumes, and industrial crops. Crop rotation. Farmers often employ crop rotation strategies to maintain soil fertility and prevent the depletion of nutrients. This involves alternating the types of crops planted in specific fields over successive growing seasons. 2. Livestock farming. Grazing areas. Agricultural land is used for providing grazing areas for livestock including cattle, sheep, and goats. These areas support extensive livestock farming practices, contributing to meat and dairy production. 3. Irrigation Systems Efficient water use. Given Turkey's diverse climate, including arid and semi-arid regions, irrigation systems are crucial for maintaining agricultural productivity. Various irrigation methods, such as drip irrigation and sprinkler systems, are employed to efficiently use water resources. 4. Greenhouse cultivation. Protected agriculture, greenhouses are utilized to extend the growing season and protect crops from adverse weather conditions. This allows for the cultivation of crops throughout the year and contributes to the production of vegetables, flowers, and other high value crops. 5. Precision agriculture. Technology integration, precision agriculture practices, which involve the use of technology such as GPS guided tractors and sensors, are increasingly being adopted. This allows for more precise and efficient use of resources, optimizing yields and minimizing environmental impact. 6. Soil Conservation Terracing and contour farming. In hilly or sloping areas, farmers implement soil conservation techniques such as terracing and contour farming to prevent soil erosion. These practices help maintain soil structure and fertility. 7. Organic Farming Growing Interest There is a growing interest in organic farming in Turkey. Organic agriculture emphasizes sustainable practices, avoiding synthetic pesticides and fertilizers, and promoting soil health. Organic farms contribute to environmentally friendly and healthier food production. 8. Government Support 
Agricultural policies, the Turkish government plays a role in supporting agriculture through policies and subsidies. Programs aim to enhance soil fertility, improve agricultural practices, and ensure the sustainable use of land resources. 9. Research and Education Agricultural research institutes, research institutions and universities conduct studies to develop improved agricultural practices, crop varieties, and soil management techniques. Extension services provide farmers with information and training on best practices. The use of soil in agriculture is a dynamic and evolving aspect of Turkey's agricultural sector, reflecting efforts to balance productivity with environmental sustainability. Cereals, other plant products, and fruits experienced an increase compared to the previous year. In 2022, there is a 14.6% rise in production amounts of grains and other plant products, excluding feed plants, and a 7.7% increase in fruits, beverages, and spice plants compared to the previous year. However, there was a slight decrease of half a percent in vegetable production. Consequently, the production amounts in 2022 reached approximately 70.2 million tons for grains and other plant products, 31.6 million tons for vegetables, and 26.8 million tons for fruits, beverages, and spice plants. Grain production witnessed growth in 2022 compared to the previous year. The production amounts of grain products surged by 21.3% in 2022 compared to the previous year, reaching around 38.7 million tons. Compared to the previous year, wheat production increased by 11.9% to 19.8 million tons, corn production rose by 25.9% to 8.5 million tons, barley production surged by 47.8% to 8.5 million tons, and rye production increased by 47.8% to 8.5 million tons. Additionally, rice production escalated by 36.5% to 273,000 tons, and oat production saw a 32.2% increase to 365,000 tons. In the legume group, chickpeas grew by 22.1% to 580,000 tons, dried beans decreased by 11.5% to 270,000 tons, and red lentils increased by 75.4% to 400,000 tons. Potatoes, among tuber plants, increased by 2%, reaching 5.2 million tons. Among oilseeds, soybean production decreased by 14.8% to 155,000 tons, while sunflower production increased by 5.6% to approximately 2.6 million tons. Tobacco production increased by 15% to 82.3 thousand tons, and sugar beet production grew by 6.9% to 19 million tons. Vegetable production declined in 2022 compared to the previous year. The production amount of vegetable products decreased by half a percent in 2022 compared to the previous year, reaching approximately 31.6 million tons. In the vegetables group, cucumber production increased by 2.6%, carrots by 33.5%, and tomato paste capia pepper by 2.5%. However, there was a decrease of 0.7% in tomatoes, 2.1% in watermelon, and 6% in onions. Fruit production increased in 2022 compared to the previous year. The production amount of fruits, beverages, and spice plants increased by 7.7% in 2022 compared to the previous year, reaching approximately 26.8 million tons. Considering the production amounts in the fruits group, there was an increase of 7.2% in apples, 13.5% in grapes, 13% in total peaches and nectarines, 4.9% in plums, 8.8% in strawberries, and 71.2% in olives compared to the previous year. Additionally, fig production increased by 9.4%, and banana production increased by 12.9%. Among citrus fruits, tangerine production increased by 2.5%, while orange production decreased by 24.1%, and lemon production by 14.6%. Among nuts, hazelnut production increased by 11.8%, and pistachio production increased by 100.5%. Ornamental plants production increased in 2022 compared to the previous year. The production amount of ornamental plants increased by 20.4% in 2022 compared to the previous year. It was observed that cut flowers had a share of 68.2% in ornamental plant production, while other ornamental plants had a share of 31.8%. Compared to the previous year, Cut flower production increased by 31.9%, outdoor ornamental plants production increased by 3.6%, while indoor ornamental plants production decreased by 17.5%. Tea is cultivated in lime-free soils that have undergone extensive washing, while pistachios are grown in calcareous soils in arid regions of Turkey. 
tuberous plants such as potatoes, onions, celery, and beets thrive in sandy soils with a light texture. Vineyards show better growth in sandy and gravelly soils, including dune ridges, resulting in higher yields. Soil Types and Corresponding Agricultural Products and Livestock in Turkey 1. Acid and Lime-Free Forest Soil, Agricultural Products, T, Kiwi 2. Terra Rosa, Agricultural Products, Viticulture, Citrus, Olive 3. Brown Steppe Soils, Agricultural Products, Grain, Livestock, Ovine Livestock 4. Chernozyom, Livestock, Ovine Breeding 5. Vertisol, Agricultural Products, Sunflower. 6. Renzina, Agricultural Products, Grain. 7. Colluvial, Agricultural Products, Fig, Olive, Viticulture. 8. Regasol, Agricultural Products, Grapes, Potatoes, Roses. 9. Arid Region Calcareous Soils, Agricultural Products, Pistachio. The livestock preferences based on the type of vegetation in various regions are as follows. Bristle goats, preferred habitat, maquis in areas with bushes. Sheep, preferred habitat, steppe fields. Cattle, preferred habitat, grasslands. Silkworm breeding is prevalent in regions where mulberry trees are abundant, as these trees serve as the primary food source for silkworms. The relationship between silkworms and mulberry trees has been a traditional and economically significant practice, contributing to the production of silk. In areas characterized by flowering plants, pine forests, and orchards, beekeeping is a common agricultural activity. Bees play a crucial role in pollination, enhancing the productivity of flowering plants and fruit orchards. Beekeeping not only supports the natural ecosystem but also contributes to the production of honey and other bee-related products. These practices showcase the diverse agricultural activities in different regions of Turkey, each adapted to the local environment and resources available. The table presents a correlation between various types of flora and corresponding livestock activities. Maki and shrubs, livestock activity, hair goat, description, hair goats thrive in areas abundant with maki and shrubs, making these regions ideal for their grazing and sustenance. Step. Livestock activity, sheep. Description, the vast expanses of the steppe provide an excellent environment for sheep, allowing them to graze and flourish in these grassy landscapes. Lush Meadow Livestock Activity, Cattle Description, cattle find optimal conditions in lush meadows, where the abundance of grass and vegetation supports their grazing habits and overall well-being. Mulberry Livestock Activity, Silkworm Description, Mulberry trees are crucial for silkworms, as they feed on the leaves of these trees during the crucial stages of their life cycle, contributing to the silk production process. Flowering plants and pine forests. Livestock activity, beekeeping. Description, beekeeping thrives in areas with flowering plants and pine forests, as these environments provide a rich source of nectar for bees, supporting honey production. Forests play a crucial role in providing various benefits to both nature and human activities. Here are some key aspects of how forests contribute. Effects on nature. 1. Regulating the water. Forests act as natural water regulators, influencing the distribution and quality of water resources by absorbing, filtering, and releasing water through various processes. 2. Protecting the soil. The dense vegetation and root systems in forests help prevent soil erosion ensuring the stability and fertility of the soil. 3. Affecting the climate, forests have a significant impact on climate regulation by absorbing carbon dioxide during photosynthesis, influencing temperature, and participating in the water cycle. 4. Nature conservation and beautification, forests serve as habitats for diverse flora and fauna, contributing to biodiversity conservation. Additionally, they enhance the aesthetic value of landscapes. Forest products. 1. Main products Log, parquet, furniture, wood from forests is used for various purposes, including construction, furniture, and flooring. Chipboard, paper, plywood, wood-based products such as chipboard, paper, and plywood are derived from forest resources. Telephone pole, timber from forests is utilized in the construction of telephone poles. 2. Byproducts Resin, frankincense oil Certain trees in forests produce resin and frankincense oil, which have various applications in industries and traditional practices. Pine cone, linden, carob, bay leaf, 
forests yield various non-timber products like pine cones, linden, carob, and bay leaves, which find use in different sectors. The production of ceramics and pottery, once crafted through traditional methods, has undergone a significant transformation with the advent of industrialization. In the past, these items were crafted as traditional handicrafts, often handmade by skilled artisans. However, in contemporary times, the majority of ceramic and pottery production has shifted towards large-scale manufacturing carried out in factories. This shift to industrial production allows for increased efficiency, mass production, and widespread availability of these items in the market. While traditional craftsmanship still exists, the industrial production of ceramics and pottery has become a dominant force in meeting the demands of a globalized consumer market. Brick and tile facilities in Turkey are concentrated in various regions, with the industry having a presence in both urban and rural areas. Some of the main areas where brick and tile facilities are concentrated include 1. Marmara region, this region, including cities like Istanbul, Bursa, and Kojele, is a significant industrial hub in Turkey. The presence of construction projects and urban development in the Marmara region contributes to the demand for bricks and tiles. 2. Central Anatolia region. Cities like Ankara, the capital of Turkey, and Konya are part of the central Anatolia region. This region's central location and economic activities make it a key area for construction materials, including bricks and tiles. 3. Aegean region, Izmir and other cities in the Aegean region also have concentrations of brick and tile facilities. Urbanization and infrastructure projects in this coastal region contribute to the demand for construction materials. 4. Mediterranean region, Antalya and other cities in the Mediterranean region experience tourism-related construction, leading to a demand for building materials such as bricks and tiles. 5. Black Sea region, although less industrialized than some other regions, there are brick and tile facilities in cities along the Black Sea coast. These facilities cater to local construction needs. 6. Southeastern Anatolia region, cities like Diyarbakir and Sanlerfa in the southeastern Anatolia region also have brick and tile manufacturing facilities, driven by construction activities and infrastructure development. It's important to note that the distribution of brick and tile facilities is influenced by construction trends, infrastructure projects, and regional development initiatives. As a result, concentrations may change over time based on economic and demographic factors. The ceramic industry in Turkey has seen significant development and growth, with several regions playing a key role in its expansion. Some of the main areas where the ceramic industry develops in Turkey include 1. Kütahya. Kütahya is renowned as a major center for the ceramic and tile industry in Turkey. The city has a long history of ceramic production, and it is home to numerous ceramic factories, producing a wide range of ceramic products, including tiles, tableware, and sanitary ware. 2. Izmir. Izmir, located in the Aegean region, is another important hub for the ceramic industry. The city hosts various ceramic manufacturers, contributing to the overall production capacity of the country. 3. Eskişehir. Eskişehir, situated in the northwest of Turkey, has a growing ceramic industry. The city is known for its expertise in ceramics and has attracted investments in the sector. 4. Sakarya. Sakarya, part of the Marmara region, has witnessed the establishment of ceramic factories producing tiles and other ceramic products. The region's strategic location and industrial infrastructure make it conducive to ceramic manufacturing. 5. Boxer, Boxer, located in western Turkey, is home to ceramic companies engaged in the production of tiles and sanitary ware. The city's proximity to major urban centers contributes to its significance in the ceramic industry. 6. Bilecik, Bilecik is recognized for its ceramic and tile manufacturing activities. The city has a cluster of ceramic factories producing various ceramic products. These regions have become focal points for ceramic production due to factors such as raw material availability, skilled labor, infrastructure, and historical expertise in ceramics. The industry's growth in these areas has contributed to Turkey's reputation as a significant player in the global ceramic market. Ceramics and pottery continue to be produced in small workshops across various regions of Turkey, maintaining a connection to traditional craftsmanship. These workshops often showcase the artistry and cultural heritage associated with handmade ceramics and pottery. Moreover, Turkey plays a notable role in the international ceramic market by exporting a significant amount of clay to some European countries. This export activity underscores the country's importance as a source of raw materials for the ceramics industry globally.
The coexistence of traditional small-scale workshops and the involvement in international trade highlights the diversity and dynamism of Turkey's ceramic sector, combining heritage craftsmanship with a presence in the global supply chain.